Time is re-released. 700 years of galactic travel and the Doctor's still fighting the Daleks. John Pertwee's here live at 10 past 11. And it's rocked last week with the revelation that for the first time in centuries, Doctor Who gets to kiss his female assistant. Paul McGann is playing the Galactic Traveller in a new £3 million movie. And today we're looking at why the Time Lord has remained such a cult classic. Let's travel back in time to 1966, to be precise, when the Daleks rule the world. She was the former child star you just saw in that clip. Ex-Time Lord John Pertwee and font of all Doctor Who knowledge and editor of the Doctor Who magazine, Gary Gillett. Hey, and here they come. <laughs> John, it's lovely to see you, Good morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning, and Gary as well. Thank you. It really is quite big in there, actually, from where I'm sitting, isn't it? It's what dimensionally transcendental. Enormous. Is it is as big as they say. <laughs> Bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> Roberta, you. you haven't changed a bit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Slightly taller, I think it's that rock you're sitting bit. on there. Now, I mean, how old are you in that particular film? Ten. Was made? Ten. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Did you find it scary? Because, I mean, I remember watching them when I was a bit younger. They used to frighten me to death. Really no, honest. I'd done a lot of films before. Um, I mean, I can remember watching it on the television when it was William Hartnell doing black mm -hmm. and white. But actually, when I got onto the set, I whipped him into shape. Listen, I, I don't think I'm rude or anything. Cybermen, I, I just get irritated when I'm trying to talk. Excuse me. Come on, lads. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> off, off. <laughs> a gun's yeah, right away today. Right. <laughs> not terribly oh, well I miss, but I mean, they got the message. Yeah, you know about that yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> no, no, I have nothing to do with them. I, 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 Cybermen weren't with you, were they? No, I didn't work with no, the Cybermen. No, no. no. That's a bonus, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, Roberta, something else I wanted to ask you, too. You did extremely well, didn't you, with the filming of that particular film? Was, were you known as One Take Toby, weren't you? Yes, that's Which right. Which is quite good at ten, yeah. to get it right first time. I think time. Um, Gordon Fleming hadn't... I don't know whether he'd worked with children before, and I think perhaps he thought that this was going to be an incentive. So he said to me, every shot that you do in one take, I'll give you a shilling. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we did the whole film, and on the last day of filming, he called me over and um, he said, this is for you, and he gave me a suede pouch with 21 shillings. Oh. And it said, to one take Tovey, love Gordon. So after That's that, great, I was known as it? one take Tovey. <laughs> well, there you are. That's Thank a very strong <laughs> collection. <laughs> I mean, when you, after you came back and you'd, you'd made that movie and all the rest of it, going back to school and all the rest of it, all your pals very impressed with you and all you were getting up to? I went to a stage school, the mm -hmm. Corona. So, so it, it, everybody was everyone, in the same. Yes, but I, yeah. I mean, while I was filming, I still had to do my schoolwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was one nice little clip I know of you in the, in the forest and you're running away from I don't know what. It looks like something rather interesting. Let's have a look at that clip now, if we can. Who's there? Artists, and the next time yeah. you came out, you were here. That's right. <laughs> time does that sort time of thing flies. Too. Just notice that you're wearing checks there, and you've got a check. Yeah. Frightening <laughs> piece of velvet. Oh, that was, 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 was a big 
On the subject of worst, clothes, you were, you, were, you, were a, you were a Doctor Who who brought uh, some colour, quite literally, to the I uh, brought colour to Doctor Who, yes, yes. yes. And rather colourful garb as well. Of course. I, 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 forgive me if I'm in mufted, I'm in disguise. <laughs> I noted that. Unfortunately, Dressing down, sir. the Doctor Who outfit went to the cleaners. It was lovely, wasn't it? It was like a frilly sort of shirt, wasn't frilly it? Frilly shirt, sort of thing with and a cape. velvet jacket, Yeah. and yeah. Uh, my grandfather's Inverness cape. How many years did you actually work as Doctor Who? 143. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen a lot shorter. <laughs> uh, no, I did five. Mm -hmm. Five years. To what? Tom's seven. Yeah, and, you and when you I do something like that for longest. five years, why does it come to an end? Uh, because they ran out of money. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't pay. They wouldn't pay up. So you did have a chance to go uh, on for yes. more. What were you looking for more money, were you? A little. A little. Yeah, not a yes. lot. <laughs> just, a, just a little. But Enough they to said, get me by. They <laughs> said, uh, no, we're sorry to see you go. Mm. Well, that's I what said, they no. said when you asked for more money. Yes. <laughs> sorry, to see you. sorry to see you guys. <laughs> so wouldn't you like to consider it for a minute and talk to <laughs> the rest of your directors? And they said, no. We're sorry to see you go. <laughs> but you had a good five years. You did enjoy I, it, didn't you? I had a lovely time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what were some I, of the best bits? I mean, some of the sets, I mean, this is, this is terrific today, but some of the sets were quite sort of elaborate, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Indeed, they were, yes. Uh, I, I enjoyed particularly the slightly amateurish quality of Doctor Who. I think that's what made it endearing and loved. When you know when you saw black feet walking underneath the Daleks. <laughs> 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 We're going back to the days of Crossroads now as well, aren't we? I think that. Gary, I mean, the, the whole cult thing about Doctor Who, you, you're involved in a publication mm -hmm. about Doctor Who and all the rest of it. And I believe we were... Uh, Real finding out that your first memory ever, I mean, ours was, I think... Uh, we both, I think we both wet ourselves, so unfortunately. That we was our first memory of when we were little, you know, we washing our pants and getting into trouble. Yes. You remember the Daleks, is that right? Well, sadly, yes. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is rather sad. <laughs> it, 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 I'm not sure if it's true, because, um, because having become a fan since, it's very easy to place the memory to an exact date. Mm. But I can't remember my parents, I can't remember my family, but I can remember the Daleks from when I was uh, since <laughs> three or and four years old. And you've just come old. back from Vancouver, haven't yes. you, where Paul McGann is, uh, yes. is filming this, this new sort of made-for-television mm -hmm film as Doctor Who. Well, yeah. What do you think of him as a Doctor well, Who? Paul McGann's a superb choice. Um, firstly, he's, he's, he's one of Britain's very best actors um, and, uh, and uh, Doctor Who's got a long history of, uh, of employing very talented actors in the league. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> You're going and, so, uh, and so uh, and I, th I think Paul's a, a, a spectacular choice, given the fact that people have been talking about stand-up comics and pop stars and all sorts of, of celebrities yeah. rather than actors. I think yeah. Paul's a good... How much of the actor goes into the particular Doctor Who? Do you decide what way he's going or are you given a brief as to how you should behave? How does it work? Well, my boss, Sean Sutton, said, uh, would you want, do you want to do this? And after sort of three lunches and a very good dinner, I said, <laughs> yes, I would. But how do you want me to play it? He said, it's John Pertwee. And I said, who the hell's that? <laughs> Because I'd never been me, mm. and so this was difficult to start mm. off The most with. difficult part of all, they say. But luckily, yourself. Barry Letts became my producer, and he was an actor, and so he knew the problems one would go through. I mean, who had to be very different from your mm. predecessors. Is it a good career move to be a Doctor Who? Has it been uh, good? Yes, for the period of time that you're doing it, but it's mm. hard to get out of the Doctor Who mould. Yeah. And still is. I'm still finding troubles. Oh, you have, you've done, I mean, you've done all sorts. Well, I do a lot of things as well. I mean, like, like worth Words of gummage, gummage for ten years. But, gummage, but, yeah. but if I now try to get a role that I particularly like, I ha mm. I'd have a considerable problem yeah. getting over the Doctor Who label. Because yeah. oh, no, no, we can't have yeah. him because he's Doctor Who. What do you think about Paul McGann as, as Doctor Who? And I think it's a marvellous, marvellous choice. And I think Kissing. sex will rear its ugly head. Now <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor was so never allowed to raise his ugly sex head. <laughs> you, were, you were never allowed to kiss your assistant, were you? No, 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 no nothing like that. Not. No, no. But uh, I, th I think, I bet you Paul will. <laughs> well, he is, apparently, isn't he? Yeah. I think that'll be the new thing. Elizabeth Sladen was your assistant, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yes, yes. wonderful. Liz, and did, yes. you, did you keep in touch after that? Well, we see each other endlessly. We all do. Um, apart yeah. from Tom, he, he, he goes his own way. But yeah. the, the, most of the other doctors uh, and the companions, we meet up at these conventions all over the world. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that's, I mean, is it, are you still doing good business out of Doctor Who, as it were? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, very good business. And even though I heard a terrifying rumour the other day that there's now the film's being made, he'll be able to tell me this, they're stopping the sale of all videos. Is that true, Gary? Well, they're sort of holding off for a short while, and then there's going to be a big relaunch. A big surge forward again. They, they, they better, because our, our, our damn income will be going down. <laughs> <laughs> Take all that into My it. pension will be gone. <laughs> yeah. well, it certainly made an impact on all your lives, I would have thought, Doctor yes. And uh, nice to know that this film is being re-released as well on video for those who, uh, mm. like our children, who might have been too yes, young to have seen it first time round. That's right, yeah. in widescreen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right screen format. Yeah. Anyway, lovely to see you out of the box and in the flesh. Lovely to meet you as well, Gary. Time for the rest of us, though, now for Lesson 7 in Child Development.